Rejoice in the Lord always. Yes. Come on and help me bless the Lord today. Clap your hands. Come bless the Lord with me today. Yeah. Come bless the Lord. Come bless the Lord. Draw near to worship Christ the Lord and bless his name, his holy name, declaring he is good. Come bless the Lord. Come bless the Lord. Draw near to worship Christ the Lord and bless his name, his holy name, declaring he is good. Oh, that men would praise him. Him. Oh, that men would praise him. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say, again I say, rejoice in the Lord always and again I say, again I say, rejoice. Yeah. Come bless the Lord. Come bless the Lord, draw near to worship Christ the Lord, and bless his name, his holy name, declaring he is good. Come, all oh, the men would praise him, all oh, the men would praise him. Oh, rejoice in the Lord always, and again I'll say, again I'll say, Again I say rejoice in the Lord always Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice In the Lord always Again I say, again I say rejoice Yeah, he's worthy of the praise today yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah we would say, oh, that men would praise his name, would praise his name to the ends of the earth. Oh, that men would praise his name, would praise his name to the ends of the earth. Oh, that men would praise his name, would praise his name to the ends of the earth. Oh, that men would praise his name, would praise his name to the ends of the earth oh praise his name to the ends of the earth bless his holy name yeah come on and bless him yeah bless the Lord lift your hands bless the Lord nobody like Jesus oh Praise Him, all oh, rejoice in the Lord always and again. I say again, I say rejoice in the Lord always and again. I say again, I say rejoice. Yeah, yeah, rejoice. He's worthy of all the glory and all. The praise again I say rejoice 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 in the Lord cause it's worthy yeah, yeah. rejoice Rejoice! 
join with me in prayer as we pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, as we come before you right now, we want to thank you for your loving kindness and tender mercies towards us. We want to thank you, Lord, that you woke us up this morning and you started us on our way. Thank you, Lord, for all what you have done for us. We're going to ask that you would just bless us in a very special way. God, we have been going through some things and some stuff, both politically and otherwise, and we're asking that you just come in and heal the Help us, Lord, as we pray for those who are governed, that you would have mercy upon them as well as have mercy upon us. And then we're going to ask that you would touch us, Lord, from this, this uh, pandemic, Lord, that has been uh, for almost a year, taking almost more than 350,000 lives or close to 400. We're going to ask that you would comfort many of them who are crying out to you. We ask that you will hold them up. Lord, just have your way. Forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from our nicotines. Lord, as we look to you, have mercy upon us once again. Bless Canaan Baptist Church of Christ. Lord, remember each and every one who's standing in the need of prayer. They're standing in the need of a, of a blessing. They're standing in the need of you to help them. God, we cannot do it by ourselves, but our help comes from you. So bless us, and we shall all of those who are suffering, all those who are sick, all those who are unemployed and going through difficult times. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. You're the center of my joy. All that's good and perfect comes from you. You're the heart of my contentment, hope for all I do. Jesus, you're the center of my joy. When I've lost my direction, you're the compass for my way. You're the fire and light when nights are long and cold. In sadness, you are the laughter that shatters all my fears. When I'm all alone, your hand is there to hold. Oh, Jesus, you're the center of my joy. All that is good and perfect comes from you. Oh, you're the heart of my contentment, hope for all I do. Jesus, you're the center of my joy.
have a hope for all I do. Jesus, you are the center of my joy. When I'm lonely and I'm feeling sad, you are the lifter of my head. When I'm all alone, you are there to hold my hand. Jesus, you are the center. I'm nothing without you, Jesus. You're the center of my joy. Oh, Jesus, you're the center of my joy. My joy. Thank you so much, Brother Barry Parker. Jesus, you're the center of my joy. Wow, so inspiring. There is a word from the Lord. I want you to look at Psalms, the 61st chapter of Psalms, and I'm going to read just two verses of scripture. Hear my cry, O God, and attend to my prayer. From the ends of the earth, I cry out to you. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. I want to use for a subject this evening, what to do when life overwhelms you. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, as we come to you right now, we ask that you would give us a word and season, that you will uplift your word, and that you would bless your word to every hearer this evening. We pray that you will be glorified, Christ will be honored, and the devil will be horrified. I ask that you will speak to us in the precious name of Jesus. Amen and amen. What to do when life overwhelms you? Now that's a good question right there. What to do when life overwhelms you? We have almost completed the second week in the new year. As we look at the events of the year, what took place in 2020, I am grateful to the Lord that I even made it into 2021 because there was a lot of times, at least two particular times, that I did not think that I would live to see 2021. Back in March, I went to a funeral of a very dear pastor friend of mine and and we had this funeral on a Thursday night, I believe, and you know, I'm, my background is Pentecostal, and we went to a Pentecostal funeral, and you know they last 
a long time, you know. So what happened, I greeted all my fellow clergy and, and the host pastor told me where to sit. And as we uh, began to celebrate the life of this deceased pastor, uh, the service was long. And so I live here in Harlem, so I decided that I was going to leave Queens early. And somehow or another, I left early before they started to congregate. And soon after that, the very pastor of that church, a good lifetime friend of mine, died 10 days later of COVID. And another pastor got it, and more people got it. And I was in there, but I left early, God, that I did. I usually go to the Baptist Ministers Conference on Mondays, and the fact is that if I go there now, when they start up, some of my good buddies are not there anymore because they lost their lives to COVID. You see, I served on the staff of Isaiah Owens Funeral Home as a eulogist. Uh, I was so overwhelmed by so many deaths and the need to comfort so many grieving people. It was just body after body. In fact, it's, it's getting up there now. In fact, tomorrow I have two services, 11 o'clock and 4 o'clock. COVID has overwhelmed us with sickness, death, suffering, unemployment, political anarchy, and a mandate for change. In our text this evening, David said, when my heart is overwhelmed, Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. David was raised up as a shepherd boy who protected his father's sheep. He even killed a lion and a bear with his bare hands when they came out to go against the sheep. David, a musician, he played the harp. And later on, he prayed so well that even the demons had to leave from his adversary. He also volunteers to fight against a nine-foot Philistine giant who challenged Israel to send out their best warrior so that they can determine who was the best. It was David that went out and he defeated the giant with just one stone. He caused the giant to fall and then he took a sword, a Goliath's sword, and cut off the giant's head. Later, David became a mighty warrior in Saul's army until the choir, Maureen, added another stance to the praise song. See, the song used to be, and Saul loved it, Saul slayed his thousands, but David slayed his 10,000. Saul didn't like that at all. David went from Israel's hero to public enemy number one, all because a jealous king who had rejected God and was disobedient. David is now being hunted down like an animal, and he is now overwhelmed to the point of despair and death in the hands of his enemies. In 1 Samuel, the 30th chapter, it is clear that David and his ragtag army, 600 men. Yes, army. It started off with about 400 people. 
And the fact is the people that joined his army, they had problems. First Samuel 22 and 2 says, everyone who was distressed, everyone who was in debt, everyone who was disenchanted followed David. That sounds like a Baptist church. Everyone. So right now, in this particular text, he says he is overwhelmed because he returned to a place called Ziklag, a city given to him by the Palestine kings in his quest to escape Saul. David and his men discovered that Ziklag is burning down and his wives, they were overwhelmed with despair. And verse four says, Verse 4 says, David and the people who were with him lift up their voices and wept until they had no more strength to weep anymore. Please let me share with you some of David's overwhelming times to make my point when life overwhelms you. Psalm 69, 1 to 3, it says, Save me, O God. For the waters have come up to my neck. I sink in deep mire where there is no standing. I have come into deep waters where the floods overflow me. I am weary with my crying. My eyes fail while I wait on God. Who am I preaching to here? under the sign of my voice. 2020 has overwhelmed you, and there isn't much hope that you have for 2021 and 2020, and you feel like you are helpless. One of the attributes of David that David had is that he never gave up. He made wrong turns but he found way, a ways to get back on track. He says, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. David was able to get through his zigzag experience even when his own men were ready to kill him because the Amalekites abducted their wives, and their children. But David strengthened himself in the Lord, and the Lord gave him instructions, and they found the enemies and destroyed them and took back their wives and their children. Let me give you three initiatives that I have, uh, then I will be through. Three initiatives. What to do when life overwhelms you. The first thing you need to do is to recalculate. I have a GPS, a GPS on my phone like so many of you also have. And when I'm traveling to places that I'm not familiar with, I put the address in my GPS, but sometimes I make a wrong turn or I will miss a turn. And right away, my GPS recalculates. In fact, it's this funny sound. It, it is recalculating. What it is doing, it finds the error and leads me back on course. And just like David, we all can get off course when life overwhelms us. God never led He ran there and he pretended to be crazy because he was overwhelmed by his enemies. I am not so sure that he was pretending 
to be crazy because life can be so overwhelming to the point that it will cause you to lose your mind. And if you don't get some help, some psychological help, wow, how did I get there? If you don't get some help, you're going to be in deep trouble. There's someone under the sound of my voice who has let the fears of 2020 get you off course and you need to recalculate and get back on course before it completely paralyzes you. David recalculated. He said, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. My second initiative is what to do when your life is overwhelmed is recover. How can I recover from being isolated from a loved one who had just died alone in ICU from COVID-19? How can I recover from not being able to have a decent funeral service for my loved one due to the COVID restrictions? How can I recover from being isolated from my church family when that's the thing that I look for every week to do is to go to church and to worship the Lord. How can I recover? How can I recover from being unemployed? I can't pay my bills. I can't pay my rent. I don't have enough food to feed myself and my family. How can I recover? Listen, recovery is always a long process. It will take faith in God. David was on point when he said, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. We used to sing the song, Lord, Lift me up and let me stand by faith in heaven's Canaan land. No higher place that I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. For some of us to recover, it's going to take more help from the church, the government, the states, and the cities. The church has to be proactive in your recovery, not only in communications, live services, providing food and clothing, but your emotional well-being as well. Life can, do, can be so overwhelming to you that it affects your spirit, your body, your mind, your emotional well-being. You need more than a prayer and someone to lay hands on you. You need some counseling. My last initiative on what to do when life overwhelms you. Re-engage. The best way to re-engage is to be in pursuit of God with all your heart. Song 71 was a song that when I was in deep despair, in a backslidden state, and it seems I didn't have any contact with any of my former sisters and brothers in the church, but God never gave up on me, and his word even spoke to me when I thought that he would never speak to me again. David declared, God is the rock of my salvation. Be my strong refuse to which I can continually resort. My rock and you are my fortress. Re-engage in worship. Re-engage 
in a strong prayer life. Re-engage in your hope for not only 2021, but ongoing. Oh yes, engage in hope. The rock, Paul says something about the rock and there's a lot of theological implications here that I won't get to, but let me tell you what the scripture says. And all, 1 Corinthians 10 and 3, and all drank the same spiritual drink. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. On Christ, the solid rock I stand, all of the grounds is sinking sand. On Christ, the solid rock I stand, all of the grounds is sinking sand. I like the way the late Danny Bell Hall sang that song, or the way she penned it. Uh, she says uh, uh, this, I go to the rock of my salvation. I go, wait, I go to the rock of my salvation. I go to the stone that the builders rejected. I run to the mountains. The mountains stand by me. When all around me is sinking sand, on Christ the solid rock I stand. Whenever I need a friend, I go to the rock. I go to the rock. And David had something when he said, when I am overwhelmed, I go to a rock. So when life overwhelms you, I hope there's a few things that you got from this sermon where you can go. God bless you and may he continue to smile upon you. Go through these difficult times. Know that he will never leave you nor forsake you. He will be with you. We're going to have a number by um, Barry Parker again. If you want to know
as God gives me grace. I'll run this race until I see my Savior face to face. If anybody asks you where I'm going, where I'm going Ooh, soon, oh, I'm going up yonder, I'm going up yonder, I'm going up yonder. my king I'm going up yonder to be with my Lord Ooh, I'm going up there where there'll be no more crying no more dying there no more sickness or sorrow with my Thank you once again, Brother Barry. At this time, I'm going to ask, give, a, give an altar call. There are those of you who are listening to me live screaming, you need Jesus in your life. You need Jesus. You need Jesus to come in to change your life so you can deal with it. I believe Romans, the third chapter, declares that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The sixth chapter says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through our Lord Jesus confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead you shall be saved for with the mouth confession is made and with the heart you are saved so if there's someone in here who have heard the message and also the singing the praise and on your heart, you know that you need to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And you know it because the Holy Spirit has touched you. I want you to ask Jesus to come into your heart. And then perhaps the number was on the screen. You could call this church and someone will get in contact with you. And if you want to make this place your church home, that can also be discussed. So we want you that we love you. And the whole purpose of preaching the whole reconcile to God. Father, in Jesus' name, I'm praying that you would touch somebody right now. Thank you that you already did it. Thank you that they are being saved, delivered, and set free. To you we give all the honor and all the glory in Jesus' name. Now, may the grace, the love of God, the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and a above each and every one of you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. One more.
I'm chasing after you No matter what I have to do Cause I need you more and more I'm chasing after you No matter what I have to do Cause I need you more and more oh, I'm chasing after you No matter what I have to do Cause I need you more and more I'm chasing after you No matter what I have to do Cause I need you Lord more and more Oh I need you more and more In my life oh Lord More and more I need you more and more Oh, I need you more and more I'm chasing after you No matter what I have to do Cause I need you more and more I'm chasing after you No matter what I have to do Cause I need you more and more More and more I really, really want you more More and more I really, really need you more And more In my life, oh Lord More and more I'm chasing after you, Lord. Yeah, I'm praising my way. Yeah, 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 Lord. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. So I'm chasing after you. Oh, yeah, I'm praising my way through Just to be closer to you, yeah, Lord I'm praising after you, yeah I'm chasing after you, Lord I am praising my way through just to be closer to you Lord I'm chasing and you I'm chasing I need you I need you Lord I'm praising my way to you you inhabit the praise of your people I'm chasing after you, yeah, yeah. Chasing after you. Oh, I'm chasing, I'm chasing, I'm chasing after you. I need you, Lord. I want you, Lord. Yeah. I'm praising my way through. You inhabit the praise of your people chasing after 